am sure this is what you've been looking for for a very long time. How do I say I love you in Swiss German? Stay tuned! I have asked over 20 people to say I love you in Swiss German and you can listen to them and you know Switzerland has so many different dialects. Let's see if you understand at least one of them. Let's go. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich habe dich gern. Ich habe dich gern. Ich liebe dich. Ich habe dich gern. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich habe dich gern. Ich habe dich gern. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich habe die Aussehen nicht gerne. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich hätte gerne. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, so let me explain. We in Switzerland, we more often say I like you if we love someone. Uh, don't ask me why, I think it's mainly the older people, as you could maybe see in the video before, t the tendency is that the older people, they stick to saying I like you, which is Ich ha die gern. Of course, I have a Zurich dialect. As you could hear before, people say it differently. Ich Ha, die, gern. I like you, or in German that would be Ich mag dich. So the second one is a bit less common, but if somebody says that to you, it really means a lot. So I love you, translated into Swiss German, would be Ich lieb dich. Ich lieb dich. Ich liebe dich in German. And you know, um, just don't be sad if nobody ever says Ich lieb dich to you here in Switzerland because for many people Ich ha die gern means the same thing and they somehow feel more relaxed saying this. But I think more and more people start actually saying Ich lieb dich. These were the two most common ways of saying I love you in Switzerland. Number three. So of course you could also say something like I'm blown away by you. In German that would be Ich bin hin und weg von dir. In Swiss German this is Ich bin hin und weg von dir. Ich bin hin und weg von dir. Ich bin hin und weg von dir. Okay, number four. Of course you could say something like I give you my heart. In German that would be Ich gebe dir mein Herz. In Swiss German, well, my dialect, which is Zurich dialect, I would say Ich gib dir mis Herz. Ich gib dir mis Herz. Instead of Ich gib dir mis Herz, you could also say Ich schenke dir mis Herz. Ich schenke dir mein Herz. Ich schenke dir mis Herz. There is also a very popular Swiss German song called Ich schenke dir mis Herz. I will put the link in my description. It's really worth listening to it. Okay, got that? Number five. So if it is a little bit less serious and you just have a crush on someone, um, you could say Ich bin verknallt in dich. Ich bin verknallt in dich. 
In German, ich bin verknallt in dich. I have a crush on you. This is really like you just have a crush, you really fancy someone, okay? So, next one, number six. Also a little bit less serious and maybe if things haven't been going on for a very long time, if you want to say, I fancy you. In Swiss German you could say, ich stehe auf dich. That would be in German, ich stehe auf dich. Ich stehe auf dich. Um, if you want to translate it word by word, it would be in English, I stand on you. Don't ask me why we say that. Ich stehe auf dich. Oops. Just say it to someone and see what happens. Okay, next one, number seven. Another way of saying I fancy you is Ich möchte mit dir gehen. In German that would be Ich möchte mit dir gehen. It's very similar as you can hear. So translated word by word that would be I want to go with you. Hmm. I guess it's like I want to go with you into the future or something like this. Ich wette mit dir go. Okay? Are you ready for the next number? Number eight. Okay, this is a little bit more serious. If you want to say I want you. In German, ich will dich. In Swiss German, quite similar to German again, it's Ich will dich. Ich will dich. Okay, but maybe be careful with that one. Don't just... Whatever. You know what I mean. Okay, now we are already at number nine. Okay, I really like this one. If you want to say, you are my one and only. In German, du bist mein ein und alles. Swiss German, quite similar again. It is, du bist mis ein und alles. Du bist mis ein und alles. Okay, got that. Keep that one in mind. Now we are already at number 10. Number 10. And I got this one from my little son. He's only nine years old and he had this very lovely idea. You could say, you are the key to my heart. Isn't that nice? I like that one. Okay, in German, that would be Du bist der Schlüssel zu meinem Herz. Herzen. Herz. Both works. Okay, in Swiss German it would be Du bist der Schlüssel zu meinem Herz. Du bist der Schlüssel zu meinem Herz. Herz. So now that was it. And please, please let me know if you used one of those sentences with your loved one. And yeah, tell me their reaction. Watch my other videos. I'm sure you are really keen to learn more Swiss German now. Okay, let's see you again. Bye. Love you.